this video will demonstrate the workflow for crowns in the TRIOS application. Starting on the Patients page, click New Session and select the lab. If you have only one lab, this lab is automatically pre-selected. The order form will appear. Mark the tooth that needs to be restored. The tooth will be outlined as green. The Indication tab will open on the bottom of the window. In this case, we are planning to make a single crown. Click on the Type drop-down list to select a crown. You can select either crown or temporary crown, depending on your needs. Then select Material in the Material drop-down list. And if you have a predetermined shade, select it in the Shade drop-down list. Finally, set the delivery date by clicking the Delivery Date button. Now you proceed to the scan page. Use retraction cord and or hemostatic agent if parts of the margin are subgingival. In this case, start by scanning the opposing arch to allow time for the retraction methods to take effect. As the preparation is on the upper arch on this particular case, start by scanning the lower arch. Follow the official scan strategy, which is Start by scanning the occlusal surface from the molar to the canine. Then, as it is the lower arch, slowly roll to the lingual side and move the scanner to the distal direction. Finally, slowly roll over the last molar and scan the buccal side. Now proceed to the upper arch. Scan the same area as in the lower arch. There are two ways to scan an arch with a preparation. The first option is to remove the retraction cord, dry the preparation, and immediately scan the preparation with clear margin before the gingiva collapses. Make sure to get the margin covered well. Then paint the margin using the lock tool found under the tools button. This will freeze the margin in its current retracted state, thus preventing it from being updated with later data when the gingiva might be collapsed. See the trim and lock tool video for further detail. Then complete the scan using the official scan strategy, which is continue scanning the occlusal surface from the preparation to the canine. Then, as it is the upper arch, slowly roll to the buccal side and move the scanner in the distal direction. Finally, slowly roll over the last molar and scan the lingual side. The second option is to leave the retracted cord in place and scan the arch following the scan strategy. Then trim away the margin in the scan with the trim tool. Remove the retraction cord, dry the teeth, and scan the margin immediately before the gingiva collapses. No matter which method you prefer, make sure that you cover the prepped area entirely, including the margin line and contact points. Verify this by zooming in on the preparation, turn off colors, and rotate the preparation. Finally, mark the preparation using the Mark Tooth button. Once you have marked the tooth, the software will automatically check if there are any areas near the preparation that have not been scanned. If any holes are found, you will be informed by a pop-up. Pressing the pop-up will rotate the scan to show the areas not scanned, indicated by amber arrows. If the holes are located at critical areas, such as the preparation, margin line or contact point, you will need to add some scanning here. Otherwise, no further scanning is required. Now you have the opportunity to do shade measurement and take a HD photo. Please see the TRIOS shade measurement and TRIOS HD photo videos for more information. A HD photo may be useful for the lab to set the margin. Now move to the bite scan page. Insert the scan tip to the second molar on the buccal side. 
Ask the patient to bite. Scan three to four teeth until the upper and lower arches snap to the bite scan. The light blue surface indicates the surface covered by the bite scan. When scanning the arches, there are a few things that will help you to obtain the correct bite. 1. Avoid artefacts on the molar surface. These may result from soft tissue, lips, cheek, tongue, being scanned onto the teeth. Fix. Retract soft tissue from the teeth while scanning, using, for example, a dental mirror. 2. Avoid excess soft tissue at the back. This may be distal of the last molars, or it may be large portions of sulcus to the cheek. 3. Finally avoid bubbles of saliva being scanned onto the occlusal surface. Dry the teeth before scanning. 4. If you should accidentally scan one or more of the mentioned artefacts on the teeth, simply trim away the artefact and rescan that area. Go to the validation page and confirm that there is enough space for the reconstruction between the upper and lower jaw using the clearance tool. Optionally, you can set the margin line. You can also add some comments on the 3D scan using the annotation tool. To learn more, see the TRIOS Analyze Page Tools video. Finally, switch to the Send page. Verify the order and press Send Order. When the order has been sent, the three-shape communicate window becomes active. You can use it for communication with the lab by writing comments and sending screenshots. Now you know how to make a crown case. Thank you for watching.